Hi there, I'm Simon at Serif, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use the gradient transparency and mesh tools in DrawPlus to give your designs a simulated 3D quality. For those DrawPlus users that are new to illustration, a drawing like this one might seem quite daunting, but I'm going to demonstrate how, courtesy of a few straightforward techniques, you can create a piece of artwork like this in less time than you might think. When starting out, it's a good idea to have an idea about how you'd like your finished design to look. Sketching a drawing on paper first and then importing it into DrawPlus gives you a good base to start from. I'll start this tutorial by showing you how to create the parrot's feet. To help you understand the principles involved, I'm going to break the drawing process down into three main steps. Step 1 is to draw or trace the basic outline of the foot. Step 2 is filling each outline with colour. And step 3 is adding realism using the gradient and transparency tools. Let's start by drawing a basic outline of a parrot toe. I'm using the pen tool to draw freehand, but you can easily trace over a scanned drawing. Next, I'm going to draw the lighter areas of the toe. Always think about how a light source will affect the look of your designs. In this instance, I'm drawing the light patches to reflect a light source that is coming from above the parrot. Now it's time to give the toe some solid colour. I'm choosing my desired colours from DrawPlus's colour palette. I'm not completely happy with the look of the lighter areas, so before moving on, I'm quickly going to tweak them using the node tool. Now it's time to build up the realism by adding transparency. I'm selecting the transparency tool on DrawPlus's drawing toolbar and creating a linear transparency by simply dragging through the object. Once transparency has been applied, it's possible to go back and adjust its path. I'm now going to quickly apply the same transparent effect to the other lighter area. For the rest of the toe, I'll apply a light to dark effect with a gradient fill. See how the foot is starting to take shape? I'm going to stop here, but you can continue to apply these effects to build up the entire foot, including the claws. Moving on now, and I'm going to show you how to create the multicoloured parrot's feathers, and how these can be layered to give a brilliant 3D look. I'm starting out by drawing a basic outline of a feather with the pen tool, and smoothing off the curves with the node tool. And now for the colour. I'm going to select a base colour for the feather and use the mesh tool from the drawing toolbar to apply key colours to areas of the object to create a colour spread. The mesh fill tool displays a grid over each object selected, with each node in the grid representing a key colour or shade. To edit the grid, you can simply select an individual node or group of nodes and adjust their assigned colour. Play around with the nodes to alter the distribution of key colours. To create the parrot's plumage, it's simply a case of arranging multiple feathers together. Tweak the look until you're happy with the results. Once you have a group of feathers that you're pleased with, make multiple copies and layer them on top of each other. Now that the principle of creating the feathers has been explained, I'm going to move on and show you how to create realistic looking eyes. Drawing eyes is often one of the hardest but most vital aspects of a character. Getting the eyes wrong can negatively affect the whole look of your design. Getting them right, however, can take your designs to a whole new dimension, revealing a new level of realism. 
To begin creating the parrot's eyes, I'm going to draw an ellipse, which will be the iris, and use the fill tool to apply a linear fill. I can customize the fill by clicking on the nodes at each end of the path and tweaking the colors at the start and end of the fill. By clicking in the middle of the path, it's possible to adjust how one color blends into the other. See how the top of the iris now has a darker shade to it. Now, I'm going to draw the pupil and position it at the center of the iris. I'm going to apply a gradient fill, but this time adjust the fill type to radial. I'm going to proceed to tweak the colour of the fill and the weight of the blend so the outer part of the iris is darker around the top edge. Next, I'm going to add detail to the eye by creating the marks around the iris. A quick way of achieving this is to use a quick shape star and adjust its nodes to add an increased number of points, and by decreasing the size of the inner radius. To complete the effect, I'm resizing the star so it's at the center of the eye and using the center back option on the arrange tab to place the star behind the pupil. I'm going to add finishing touches to the eye. I'm adding a lens flare simply by drawing a small transparent ellipse and positioning it off center. using the pen tool to draw on reflecting areas with the same transparent effect applied. And finally, changing the style of the outer line to a soft brush stroke. I've darkened the color of the line so you can see this effect more clearly. And there you have it a natural looking eye using quick shapes and the fill and transparency tools. Take a look at the finished parrot again, this time on a background to make the bird look grounded. You'll see that all techniques discussed in this tutorial have been applied. Have a go yourself. If you've created something you're pleased with, upload it to drawplus.com and share it with the community. Thank you for watching.